You've seen Ant-Man shrink down to the size of an ant and still throw punches like a heavyweight. But here's the big question. Could you actually shrink without dying? In Marvel, it's all thanks to Pym particles, fictional subatomic particles that change the distance between atoms while keeping their mass. In other words, you stay the same weight, just compressed. But in real science, things get tricky fast. See, your body is mostly empty space. The distance between the nucleus of an atom and its electrons is enormous compared to their size. If you could somehow remove that space and pack everything tighter, you'd become way smaller. But here's the catch. Your density would skyrocket. Shrink to the size of an ant without losing mass, and you'd be so dense you'd smash through the floor with every step. And that's not even the worst part. Compressing atoms means forcing positively charged nuclei closer together, which takes insane amounts of energy. You'd basically be trying to overcome electrostatic repulsion, something that usually only happens inside stars or in nuclear reactors. Oh, and the heat released would vaporize you instantly. What if you shrank by removing atoms instead of compressing them? Well, then you wouldn't be you anymore. Your organs, your brain, they rely on a certain number of cells to function. Reduce them and you stop working as a human. Plus, physics hits you again. Light doesn't scale with size. Your eyes wouldn't work properly. Your voice would be too high-pitched to hear. And air molecules would feel like boulders slamming into you. Even walking would feel like swimming through syrup. So, as cool as Ant-Man's shrinking looks on screen, in real life, without some magical pim particles to rewrite the rules of physics, shrinking would crush, fry, or break you at the molecular level.